First alert weather coverage. Guy Hongi is live at Waimea Bay this morning. And he's covering the giant surf that is rolling into the North Shore. How's it going out there, Guy? Uh, it's going well. It's right on the, that swell is hitting right on schedule and getting bigger right before our eyes. So we've got uh, Ocean Safety Lieutenant John Hoogstead uh, with another message uh, because it's a dangerous, life-threatening situation, isn't it? What do you want to tell? What do you want to tell the public? Absolutely. I mean, main thing, you know, just go to beaches with lifeguards, listen to the lifeguards' warnings, stay off the sand, stay off the rocks. Now, you guys issue a lot of preventative measures, right? And you keep count of those, and those things go to the thousands on a day like today. Yeah, you know, our personnel are kept busy all day long. And, you know, it, we talked about this earlier. It happens here on the North Shore where it's really obvious when, you know, the big waves come. But this swell will wrap around other sides of the island and other areas in the state, too. So really, regardless of where you are, pay attention to the lifeguards. Know your surroundings. Don't go on the rocks. Yeah. Don't go on the sand. I can't repeat and that. And you're much. watching the surf. Let's take a look at the at the horizon. Look at that big swell coming in, John. What do you see on the on this? And I mean, that's huge. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, the, the swell is just filling in just as we're speaking. That's and the biggest set so far this morning. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. And uh, you can see, I think nobody got that wave. There's a bunch of guys out there right now, and no one's in position to get get that. So. Um, it's really exciting, you know? It's really dramatic. It's just building before our Everybody eyes. Everybody move back now. Move back. Move back. Grab your kids, move back. Yeah, there you go. The alert has been issued, and you can see everybody on the beach scrambling because these waves are just about to come on shore, and there might be a cell phone count uh, if they don't run away. Anyway, um, from Ocean Safety, that was uh, Lieutenant John Hoogstedden. Thanks very much, John. You're in for a busy day. We sure are. Okay. All right. We'll go back to the studio now. Uh, look yeah. how far the water is. I know. And the fact that they had kids along with them. Yeah. Just heed the warning. Move back, guys. All right. 7.39. Oh. Uh, guy, I, 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 there, was a, there was a lot. There was a huge crowd out there. Uh, it seems like everybody's moving back, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you heard that. You heard the announcement that people, you know, most of these people obviously just here to see the spectacle. So they really reacted quickly. But, you know, these waves are only going to get bigger and the beach is basically going to get smaller, right? The viewing area is going to get smaller and it's going to get more dangerous as those waves roll up. Because if that thing sucks you down into that danger zone, it's going to be tough to rescue anybody out there. So that's why you got to listen to the lifeguards today, just like uh, John said. Guy, driving up there, I know it was dark, but in talking to people, have you heard whether these waves are affecting the roads up there at all? Because we know that can happen when they get this big. You are absolutely correct about that, Grace, but the swell is getting bigger, and there are a couple of key points where the, the waves, if they wash up, would wash up, right? And that's just near Sunset Beach Elementary School, near the lifeguard station there. Um, that's uh, in the Rock Piles area, down from Pipeline, and also up near Laniakea, as well as on the northeast, northeast side. But so far, we haven't heard anything about wave run-up, but remember, the surf is only going to get bigger through the day. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Yep. All right.